Coming up, a lot of the best golfers in the world will be competing this weekend at the Waste Management Phoenix Open, and we've got a chance to win $50,000. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. That's right, golf is back for the first time in 2021 on the NBC Sports Predictor app, and they're giving us a chance to win $50,000. There's a handful of matchups where you got to correctly predict the golfer that will have the best head-to-head finish, give them a winner, and a score of that golfer for the finishing tournament. If you can do that, you'll take $50,000. If nobody can do it, they'll give away a guaranteed $1,000 to the group of people that can get the most right. This is the Waste Management Phoenix Open. The course is TPC Scottsdale. We know the defending champion was Webb Simpson. And in my research, I use a combination of, you know, 2021 season, tournaments that are played in the 2001 calendar, because some tournaments on the season took place in 2020. We obviously look at season-long stats, and then we look at the history of these golfers at the TPC Scottsdale. I'm excited for this contest. You guys remember we played one towards the end of last year that involved the Masters. I got the winner right of that tournament. We got a lot of those head-to-heads. In fact, we had a chance going into Sunday, you know, there towards the end of that golf tournament to cash and get a little bit of that $1,000 guaranteed prize. So looking forward to this one. Let's jump on into it and see how we'll do. All right, so the first matchup they'll give us here is John Rahm versus Roy McIlroy. Well, Rahm's scoring average on the season is 69.93. In 2021, he's had two tied for seventh place finishes. Roy McIlroy on the season, his scoring average is 69.83. And in 2021, he's had a tied for 16th finish. Rahm is better in driving accuracy. He's got on about 64.5% for his 59% there for McIlroy. Greens in regulation, always you can also give that advantage there to Rahm at 71%. Uh, versus 67.5% for McElroy. Rom is 41st and 61st in approach to green and around the green, where McElroy in, these, in those same two stats ranks 127th and 113th. Roy McElroy's only advantage will come on the green, and it's when he's got that putter in his hand because he ranks 53rd, where John Rom ranks 118th. Last year at the Waste Management Open, John Rahm finished tied for ninth. I'm going to go ahead and take John Rahm. He does almost everything better than Roy McIlroy leading up to this tournament, so give me Rahm to finish better than McIlroy. Next two golfers we got here is Justin Thomas for Xander. I'm not sure how to pronounce this gentleman's last name. Thomas on the season, his scoring average is 69.32, and in 2021, he finished third. That start was a little bit earlier in January. He hasn't played in a couple weeks, at least on the tour. Alexander, his scoring average on the season is 69.55. In 2021, he's had a tied for fifth and a tied for second, which was last week he finished tied for second. Justin Thomas, he's better at approach to green. He's better around the green. He's better at tee to green. He's better. He's got more birdies average per round, and his driving accuracy is better than Alexander. Alexander, though, is better at putting and greens in regulation, and he's better at sand saves. Thomas was tied for third last year, where Alexander was tied for 16th. But I'm going to go ahead and say Alexander gets this. I like his scoring average. You know, it's relatively close there to Thomas's, and I like guys that can putt. If you can putt, it can make up for a bad day with your irons. I like guys that can putt so give me him next set of golfers here is Webb Simpson versus Hideki Matsuyama uh, last year this is basically last year's winner in Webb Simpson against a guy that finished tied for 16th last year Simpson's scoring average is 69.63 or 69.65 where Matsuyama's is 70.48 Simpson in 2021 he's had a tied for 17th and a tied for fourth finish Matsuyama in 2021, he's at a tied for 41st, tied for 19th, and tied for 53. And two of those tournaments, Simpson was in two of those tournaments, and Simpson was better in both of the two tournaments where they were playing in the same tournament so far in 2021. Simpson's got the better driving accuracy, better greens in regulation, and he's a better putter. Go ahead and give me Webb Simpson. Next grouping is Brooks Kopeka versus Jordan Spieth. This is the battle of the struggling golfers on the tour. Uh, Kopeka hasn't played here in this tournament at Scottsdale since 2017. Spieth was cut last time he was at this tournament here uh, last year. Kopeka, he's been cut in both tournaments in 2021. Spieth has only played in one tournament in 2021, and he was cut in it. So again, just got a lot of you know struggling golfers at the moment. Kopeka, though, has a better driving accuracy on the season-long stats. He's bad. Better green and uh, green and regulation, a better scoring average by about two strokes, better sand save percentage. Uh, he's better with the putter in his hand. He's better in tee to green. So kopeka has got the better stats. It's two struggling golfers. I like Kopeka to shake it off and have the better performance this weekend. So I'll take Brooks Kopeka. 
Next set of golfers here is Ricky Fowler versus Matthew Wolf. Look, Fowler in 2021, he's gone tied for 22nd, tied for 53rd, and his scoring average is 71.54. Wolf in 2021, he's had a tied for 40th, and he withdrew. He withdrew last week due to a hand injury. His scoring average is 71.09. If we look at these golfers at the TPC Scottsdale, Fowler has got one win. He's got a second place finish. He's got four top tens. Meanwhile, Wolf here at the same tournament, he's had a 50th place finish, and he was cut last year at this tournament. I'm going to go ahead and take Ricky Fowler. Look, he's, the, he's got better success here at this tournament, and he's not coming into this tournament with an injury. I don't know what's going on here with this man's hand injury. He obviously had it with Drew last week, but uh, overall, though, it looks like Fowler is the better golfer, so uh, go ahead and give me Ricky Fowler. Next two golfers here is Harris English for Scotty Scheffler. Uh, English here in 2021. He's having a good season, though. He's got first, tied for 30 second and a cut although they're in that order in terms of the cut was the most recent and the first place was the farthest away so it seems like he's getting worse you know his, his results are certainly getting worse though as the 2021 calendar progresses he's got a scoring average though of 69.68 shuffler in 2021 not not much better in terms of recent performance but he had a tie for 13th to start off the, the calendar year he's then gone cut cut with an average score of 71.29 shuffler at two at the uh, tpc scottsdale here he was cut last year. English has a, English has some good little success here at this golf course. He's got a third place finish, two top tens, four top twenty fives. He also has been cut two times at this tournament. Harris, though, his big advantage, he's going to come on the tee to green. He's 53rd, where the other guy is ranked 88th. And putting, though, putting is a big advantage here for Harris English. He ranks 26th, where Scotty Scheffler ranks 138th. Scheffler, though, he can make up with driving accuracy. This is where, you know, where it's going to be one loss, I think, is right here, where he ranks, he has a 70% driving accuracy. The other guy's at 65. But go ahead and give me Harris English. The only thing he doesn't do better is driving accuracy. He can make up for it with the putter in his hand. And if he has a good weekend on the drive, then this one should be a, a blowout win here for Harris English. Next set of golfers here is, is uh, Matt Kuchar versus Jason Day. Kuchar has only been uh, he's been cut in his only tournament here in 2021. That was that took place back in Hawaii a couple weeks back. His scoring average though on the season is 71.34. Kuchar here at the TPC he's got four top tens and five top 25s. Jason Day has also been cut in his only tournament in 2021, which just happened last week. His scoring average, though, on the season is 70.61. Jason Day here at TPC, he hasn't played here since 2013, so, so no real relevant information to go off. Uh, Jason Day, though, he's better at approach to green on the season. He's better at putting, and he's better at tee to green. He just needs he just needs to drive better than Kucha, right? Uh, otherwise, um, I, I really like Jason Day's chances here. So if he can just have a better driving week than Kucha, I, I really like Jason Day. So go ahead and give me Jason Day. They played recently, and hope or he's played more. He's also played more recently. So hopefully he's got some of that rust knocked off. Even though he did get cut, he got two two rounds, you know, just last week in competitive golf. And the other guy, like I said, hasn't competed since back in Hawaii, which was you know a handful of weeks back. And then the last group for us here is Gary Woodland versus Daniel Berger. This one here was pretty easy for me here. Uh, Woodland here in 2021, he's tied for 16, tied for 48th. Average score is 72.04. Berger in, in the uh, 2021 has, has got a 10th place finish and a tied for 7th. His scoring average on the entire season is 70.12. Woodland here at TPC he had first place finish. He finished first about three years ago. He's got three top 10s and four top 25, so lots of good success here at the TPC Scottsdale for Woodland. Berger at the TPC, he finished ninth last year, so that's pretty good. He was cut in 2019. Then he's got an 11th and a 7th place finish in 2018 and 2017. Berger, though, if we look at the season-long stats, driving accuracy better, 62% versus 48%. Greens and regulation, 70% versus 62%. Uh, uh, average birdies per round, 4.88 versus 3.89. And give him that putter in his hand. He ranks better than Woodland. He ranks 25th versus 97th. Again, this one was easy for me. I'm going to go ahead and say Daniel Berger will have the better weekend over on the TPC Scottsdale. All right, then the last thing we got to do is go ahead and give them a winner. I'm going to go ahead and say Xander Schaffler uh, or whatever it is with this guy. I mean, obviously, I give you guys a lot of the, you know, information about him. I like him going in. He's got some of the top odds overall in all the sports books to win it. He's in the top five in terms of odds to win this weekend. So he's not a long shot. He's one of the favorites coming to this tournament. I went ahead and give him a score of minus 17. When I looked up, that minus 17 was the score of not only the golfer who won last year, but in three of the last four years. 
those golfers have had minus 17. The one year at Dent, it was minus 18. So you're talking, you know, 17, 18. Like I said, three of the last four has been minus 17. So I went ahead and just took minus 17 again. All right, guys, that's how we'll do it this week for a chance to win $50,000 in the golf tournament on the NBC Sports Predictor app. Go ahead and hit the like button if I've been of help to you. And as always, I wish you good luck on your picks, and I'll see you on the next contest. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.